Okay, so here's how to activate the space dragging. So when you've got a full body avatar like this, you aren't floating slightly off the ground because it's decided to do that for some reason. Don't know why. Uh, you will need to get this program, OVR Advanced Settings. Um, this will, once it's installed, add this button to the Steam dashboard to bring up its settings. Here, you will should first of all use the Space Fix tool. This lets you take a um, controller, place it on the ground like so, and then use the Fix Floor button to basically realign your real floor with the virtual floor. Once you've done that, go to motion and turn on space drag. Now you can use either left hand or right hand. I prefer left hand for this. So I'm going to turn that on. Um, drag multiplier if you want to be able to go further faster. Um, I just leave it at that. Uh, let's see. Is there anything else we need? Offsets. I don't think so. Ah, oh, yeah. If you go into space offsets, I turn on X axis and Z axis lock. This means that you'll only be dragging up and down, not left and right, forwards and backwards. If you want to be able to move and drag yourself and clip through things in any direction, you can do that. I prefer just to use this as a height adjustment, so I lock the X and I lock the Z. We can only move up and down. Once you've done that, you need to actually bind to the controllers. So in VRChat, I use this configuration of controllers, which is specified fairly hide those bindings. I use custom bindings here. Um, this leaves the pads free. So jump is A, mute self is A, basically index controls like so. Um, leaving the pads free means I can then use those pads as my space draggers. So again, if I bring up the Steam menu, go to OVR Advanced Settings and click Bindings, it takes you into this horrendous UI. So click Trackpad, and we want to use this as a button. We want to use the Click option, and we are saying that this is the Left hand space drag, which I think is, ah, oh, that one, this one here, left hand space drag. Um, set the haptic duration, I normally set the haptic duration just a little bit so I can hear the buzz. Close, tick. And for the right hand one, I use this as the reset. So trackpad, button, more options. I make. I use hold, held for this to make sure I can't accident, ac activate it accidentally too quickly. Go to reset offsets. Again, give it a little buzz. Apply. Save personal binding. Save. And now this should be enough that I can now drag myself up and down and position myself perfectly on the floor. And if I want to get back to normal, I just hold down the right pad for a second. And they give a little buzz. There we go. All looks good. Hope that helps.